Hello guys, my name is Ryan. Today I will explain about the Metropolitan Museum. I think most people don't know. When it was founded in? It was founded in 1880. Where is it located? It is located in New York. What is the famous word? The famous word is the blindness mule. What do you felt when you saw this painting? I felt lonely and scared. I think because of fairness. Do you want to go? I want to go because I want to see more paintings. Then thank you for listening. Hello, my name is Ali. There's many museums in the world and it is lots of topics for museums. Then which museum do you want to go? Well, there's nowhere you want to go. Then listen to viewers the museum that I want to visit. It's located in France, Paris. Tuesday to Wednesday, Friday to Sunday, it opens at 9.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. There are many famous painters in our city. At first, I found nothing when I heard about it. But when I saw Orsay's picture, my mind changed. It looked like Disney Palace. It made me that I want to go Orsay. And now look at this picture. Many people see this picture, but lots of people didn't know his name because they're just impressed about it and they can't take their eyes off. This picture's name is Girls Playing the Piano. It was made in 1892 by August Renoir and it is kind of oil painting. And also there's Gleaner. It comes of various types of books and internet. It was made in 1857 by John Francois Millet. It is kind of wall painting too. It depicts three women picking up beers in a field where harvest is over. In North State, there is also Benson Van Gogh's drawing. He was born in 1857, March 30th. And his most famous painting, The Starry Night, is also in the North State Museum. Many people come to North State to see this picture. Thank you for listening to my presentations. Hello, my name is Alice. Have you ever been to a museum? I've never been to a museum, but there's a museum that has my favorite art. It is the Vertica Museum of Art. The Vertica Museum is in Italy, Rome. It is made by Julius II. It, ha it has Cathedral Sistina and Room of Signature decorated by Raphael Louis. It has a lot of beautiful arts like the Last Judgment, the Genesis, and the School of Athens. The Vatican Museum has a lot of famous and old art paintings. First, the history of the Vertica Museum. The Vertica Museum has history over 500 years. Let's talk about its start. The Greek myth character Locon statue has been founded. It was near St. Mary Cathedral. So Julius II heard about it. He sent Michelangelo there and he valued it highly. So Julius II bought it and he installed it, it installed it to his inner court. He revealed it to people and this is guessed to be the star of the Vertican Museum. Second, the paintings that are in the Museum. There is a lot of paintings in the Museum, especially Michelangelo and Raphael's. There is their studio in the outside of the Vertical Museum. There are many beautiful arts, but I will introduce the Genesis. The Genesis is the ceiling painting of the Cathedral Sistina. His, his setting was originally the night sky with a lot of stars, but Michelangelo drew the Genesis. It was, there's a little funny record in here. Donato Bermanto, who was genius of Michelangelo's talent, said to Julius II that Michelangelo should draw the ceiling painting of Cicero Cathedral. Michelangelo first said no, but so Julius, Julius II said he would give this chance to Raphael. So 
Michelangelo studied to draw the Genesis. The Genesis is about the Genesis as you can see it on the screen. Michelangelo drew this in very uncomfortable position, so he got injuries in, on his neck and eyes. I think he'll get really st stressful drawing this painting. In conclusion, the Vertical Museum is the best museum in my opinion because it has a lot of beautiful and famous art. The Genesis looks really hard to draw, but Michelangelo drawn it, so I think he's really great. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Hello, my name is Lily. Have you ever to travel? Maybe you travel sometimes. What did you like to go there? If you go far, you will write airplane. Do you know airplane history? Maybe you know Wright's brother made first airplane, but many people don't know that. So let's learn about the National Aeronautic Museum. The National Aeronautic Museum is founded on 2020 July 5th. I think the museum looks like ice rink in Minnesota silver and big circle. Before you go inside the museum, you can see character named Narak statue. Inside the museum, you can see many of airplanes in the ceiling. On the first floor, you can learn aeronautic museum's history. Also, you can see Wright's brother airplane too. On the second floor, you can learn the aeronautic museum industry. On the third floor, you can learn aeronautic life. You can experience many things too. You can experience in flight training experience and airport, airport experience for children. Second flyer. Let's learn about flyer. Flyer made by Wright's brother. It was originally glider, but they put engines and propeller. In 1903, they first fly the flyer. Flyer flies 12 seconds to 36 point. Five meter, but it was cold weather and just only five reporter come to, and some reporter didn't believe it. After that, they didn't give up, and the sec the third flyer fly thirty eight minute to thirty eight kilometer. In conclusion, the the National Aeronautic Museum is three floor, and you can see flyer. I think Wright's brother is very great because. Main airplane is difficult. Also, it can get many money and many time. So, but they didn't give up. I think they didn't give up is important. So you too don't give up anything. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Hello, my name is Sean. Today I will tell you about National Science Museum. Now let's start. When it founded in, it was founded in 2010. I will introduce science exploration, nature museum, future imagination as a full, and space museum. My impressive exhibit first is the air affects the speed. My impressive exhibit second is the robot and the Leonardo da Vinci's night robot. I will show you videos. This is the robot, and this is the Leonardo da Vinci's night robot. My impressive exhibit third is the constellation explain and film about the Earth. I want to visit again because there were some hard things to understand. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Hello, my name is Anthony. Do you know about American Museum of Natural History? If you, do, if you don't know, then I will tell you about it. American Museum of Natural History is in New York. It is founded in 18, April 6, 1869. It is, it is, it is big, beautiful building. It has many pillars and it has small statues. I search American Museum of Natural History because I never went to Natural History Museum. 
But I, when I was searching, I knew that it is very funny place. There are many objects in the museum, but the most famous objects are dinosaur fossils and stuffed animals. Also, there is diamond called Okabango Blue Diamond. It is, it is museum's most famous object. It is 20.46 carat and it is small and shiny. It is valuable blue diamond in the world. There are many activities and facilities there too. In the climate hall, there is climate experience zone. In the history hall, you can control Earth's history. And there is a science camp, so you can learn about many science knowledge. My presentation is finished. I think museum is just a boring place, but when I'm searching, I think museum is funny and interesting place. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Hello, my name is Sojun. In the world, there are many museums given to us exist. I will tell you the Vatican Museum. The Vatican Museum is in the Vatican. It was founded in 1771. It has Ludwig's rooms and Luxembourg's six rooms. Three rooms are Vapor's room, Lapa's room, Lapa's room, Sobiski's room, and Immokota's room. Six rooms are Constantine's room, Hamilton's room, Incendio de Borgo's room, and the room of signatures are Lapa's rooms. The, the spirit staircase interests me, interests me. There are many kind of there are many bubbles and become just art exist and I like them too. I like them too. The Vatican Museum has a lot of a lot of art paintings and I will tell you only two things. First first painting is First painting is the creation of Adam. It, it looks like a, it looks like a man and a god face each other. It feels like it feels like something very important and it feels like something very important is happening. It was it make in my for it made fifteen eleven. Each about a god trying to give Adam give Adam a spark of life. Second painting is the last judgment. It room it room like a jazzy. It it's room like jazzy. It feels Little dark and tense. And tense. If if uh, it made for fifteen, sorry for two fifteen forty one. Each about each about a just jar in the speech. Like this, like this, the but come museum or art has a lot of paintings. So I think the Vatican Museum give a lot of energy and gain. If we go to the Vatican Museum, Vatican, I recommend to you visit the Vatican Museum of Art. Thanks for listening to my presentation. Hello, my name is Irene. Have you ever been to the OC Museum? The OC Museum is one of my favorite museums in the world. I really want to go there because there are many famous artworks. Today, I will tell you about the OC Museum. The OC Museum is the most famous museum in the world. It is an art museum that is located in Paris, France that exhibits works of the 19th century. Before, it used to be a train station, but it changed into a museum in 1986. 
It has a larger collection of famous artworks such as Manet, Manet, and Van Gogh, attracting about 3 million visitors in a year. And it looks like a big castle covered with white and black, so it looks so it's beautiful and luxurious. And there is also a clock tower, so it made more luxurious. And there is a large lake in front of the museum, so most of the people take pictures with the beautiful lake. And the Ozzy Museum has many famous artworks. Among them, I will tell you about the Starry Night, Photo Portrait, and Las Planeses. First of all, I will tell you about the Starry Night. It was drawn at look at the looking uh, at looking at the night sky he has seen. He thought that the stars are twinkling and the face of light was held. So it it looks like the stars and the moon are waving and covering to the whole sky. I think it is great paintings in the world. Second thing that I will introduce about is auto poetry by Van Gogh. He drew these pictures in a hospital, so I think this is good for his sad expressions and feelings. Last thing that I will introduce about is Les Planeses by Millet. It depicts the three elderly rural women in a golden field. The front part of the painting depicts the beautiful nature and the real parts depict the, uh, depict the beautiful nature. Today, I will introduce about the Ozzy Museum. I really want to go there because there are many famous artists. If I really go there, I will have a happy time with the famous artists. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Hello, my name is Jerry. I'm your friend of the National Museum of Korea. Before I say my essay, I say the National Museum of Korea's location. The National Museum of Korea is in 137 million dollars. And some of the two million people in this world. The National Museum of Korea is the best one of all the world of the world.
Thank you for listening to my presentation.